Hey guys, been working a little bit more on my house model uh, for my Oculus Rift, so I thought I'd give you a, a look at uh, what I've done since yesterday. Um, I went ahead and added a a floor model. Sorry, I was hitting the <laughs> wrong keys there. But I added a floor and a an actual roof rather than just a ceiling. I haven't really textured the roof at all. I'm um, just there to help throw shadows and whatnot. But uh, I also went in here and... I grabbed a couch off of uh, the blend swap site. I'll probably just go ahead and end up modeling my own in the future, but it's there for for reference for now. Go ahead and hide the roof and the ceiling. Two different models there. I went ahead. If I could <laughs> rotate around the scene instead of grabbing things, uh, I went ahead and added some uh, cabinets in the kitchen. I haven't had any cabinet doors, but I added the actual placeholders, I guess you could say, the cabinets, the wood, and the granite tops, which I was kind of proud of the of the uh, the granite top. It looks almost almost identical to the real one in real life. So uh, I also added uh, some more textures on the floor. If I go to texture view, should be able to see things. Yes. I went ahead and added a, the uh, kind of the corresponding textures onto the floor, and I added them separately in each on each section and then baked them all onto one uh, one well if I can click uh, da, 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 floor there make them all into one big texture map so this is a 4096 by 4096 image there so it still maintains quite a bit of the clarity uh, even though it's you know there's so much mapped onto it so we have the concrete slab or patio there and the concrete garage floor going in the tile entryway and uh, the bathrooms right there each have tile and then the kitchen itself has tile and then carpet and uh, so on and so forth so I've also set up some lights in here uh, in um, unity so let's jump over to their unity and you can kind of see a little bit better uh, example here now um, I guess we can go ahead and jump in and look at it with the Oculus. So I'll go ahead and hit the play button. Take my glasses off. Put on my Oculus headpiece here. And you can also see that I did the same thing with the with the the outside of the house. I uh, I made one long, one big texture map so I could have siding on the outside and uh, the uh, textured walls on the inside. So, so this looks a lot more realistic. This <laughs> really reminds me of the house when I first moved in. It didn't have any furniture or anything, and a lot of the walls were all bare and everything like this. So, this is uh, really coming along. Uh, the island wasn't actually there yet. I added that myself about a year ago. So. Kind of proud of that. Looks pretty nice, I think. So you can see the nice tile floor here. Um, that actually looks a lot like the actual tile I have in my kitchen and, and different places. So this is actually a pretty good representation of what my house is looking like. This here is where the fireplace is. I haven't actually um, put a fireplace there. I, had, I found another one like the couch on Blend Swap, but uh, it was a little... I don't know. It it was too fancy, and, and the colors didn't want to behave when I brought them into Unity. So I'll just go ahead and model a new one there. Put that in there. It's one of those uh, ventless gas ceramic log ones. So Also, like I said, I put some lights in here. So now the lighting in here looks a lot more natural. Of course, it's coming out of nowhere. I actually have a ceiling fan. And you know, I also actually have vaulted ceilings in the kitchen. So I need, or not the kitchen, but the living room. So I need to model that. So anyways, um, nothing's really changed in uh, the rest of the house aside from the floors. So you can get an idea. This is uh, the laundry room and then the garage. There's actually a step up right there into the house so I might have to fix that but I don't know how, how detailed I want to get with this. It's kind of just a, a pet project. But I uh, also have uh, base molding around all of my floors. And then there's a, a white uh, 
ledge thing here on top of that half wall that I should put in. And then the door frames and facing all have white all around them. So anyways, um, the frieze carpet, frieze, whatever, carpet. Um, kind of just looks, well, actually what that is is just a, a cloud map, cloud texture in uh, Blender that I made real small and then baked as an, as a, an actual texture along with the tile and concrete. So anyways, also uh, changed some of the architecture. Like I said yesterday, the bathroom door was right there. I went ahead and changed it over to its actual location. And then the master bedroom door slid down this way a little bit further. And then we have a angled wall right here going into the master bedroom. It's making me dizzy moving the mouse and my head at the same time. Um, and it also, you can see the angled wall here. It's, I think it's actually a little bit bigger in real life, so I might have to adjust that. But in any case, this is uh, really coming along. So it's very surreal <laughs> walking through my house while yet sitting at my computer. So uh, yeah, so anyways, I had uh, someone request, looks like I, there we go clicked outside the window on accident. Uh, someone requested uh, that I update occasionally, so I figured, yeah, I made quite a bit of progress since since I showed the little bit yesterday. So figured, oh, also have changed some of the key buttons. I can now jump. It still brings up that little menu, so I'm gonna have to get in the code and figure out how to turn that off. But I can jump now. I can't crouch like you can in like first person shooters, so I could crouch down and sit at the table or come over and sit on the couch maybe just crouch down so actually get back like I'm sitting on the couch there we go I actually have a projector directly above me here in the real world well not in the real world I mean in the real living room there's a projector above me and it shoots onto this wall here so I have the equivalent of a about a hundred and two inch screen Got it off. Got the projector off of eBay for like 120 bucks, I think, something like that. But makes for a m much bigger TV than an actual TV. It's a lot cheaper. So, um, and of course, this is the porch. I have a little table out here in real life, and then a porch swing that I built last summer, hanging from there. So, not sure how much further I'm going to go with this. I'll probably add a little bit more furniture and stuff. But, uh, anyways, this is looking pretty good. So. Yeah, that's the update for now. Go ahead and turn that off. There we go. It's hard to see without my spectacles on. But, uh, okay, so that's Dave's house coming right along. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.